On December the 3rd at approximately 10 a.m., the uh, Clay County Sheriff's Department attempted to serve a warrant on an individual that they knew that was uh, housed in a tent located on State Road 59 at County Road 1250 South. Um, upon them closing in on the uh, tent, uh, the subject come out, uh, fired shots at, at the deputy, striking one deputy. Uh, that deputy is a 17-year yeah, veteran on the department. Um, the de the uh, deputies then retreated. They moved to a, a safer location and started administering first aid to that deputy who had been struck with the, the gunfire. Upon doing that, they contacted the uh, air ambulance. That deputy has been transported to air ambulance. I did receive from the sh uh, news from uh, Sheriff Paul Harden that that deputy is a non-life-threatening injuries. Um, he has been uh, reunited with his wife in Indianapolis and the deputy is doing well at this time. Um, currently right now, we have three uh, teams from the Indiana State Police, Terre Haute Police uh, response team. The SWAT teams are located here in the area along with uh, several other agencies that are uh, deployed. Uh, we believe that we have the individual located in one particular area. Uh, we're trying to clear that area at this time uh, so that we can get the subject into custody. We will not release the individual's name at this time uh, due to the fact that he has not been placed in custody. Um, that's all I have for you. What questions do you guys have? As a law enforcement officer, when you hear that call come across the radio that an officer's been shot, what goes through your mind? Uh, everything goes through your mind. Uh, you start thinking about your family, that other officer's family, and all the other officers that are now responding. I mean, here at Clay County is a very rural area, and you can see we're standing in the middle of cornfields, and there's officers all the way from Terre Haute. Uh, we got officers responding from the Sellersburg District and from the Evansville District. You know, we're, we're here. We're definitely a brotherhood. We're here to take care of each other. And we're here to serve the public, and that's what our number one priority is. And we're trying to make the make the uh, public safe for everyone, and that's what we'll continue to do. It's uh, very heart wrenching knowing that someone's doing their job, trying to make the public safe, and unfortunately, we don't have voluntary compliance from people, and that's the reason why we do the job that we do. What's your message to the public right now? Uh, the message to our public right now is just, you know, law enforcement, we're here to assist you. You call us, and you need some type of assistance. We're going to be there to help you. Uh, we're looking for voluntary compliance from everyone out here. You know, if we ask simply simple question is, hey, show us your hands, show us your hands. Hey, guess what? Just show us your hands and we'll take you into custody if we have to. And then we'll figure things out later at a later time. Just we're looking for voluntary compliance is what it is. We're not trying to hurt anyone out here. And we, we don't want to be hurt either because we all want to go home to our families in the evening. Earlier today, we know What's the schools the, were under lockdown. Uh, is there any threat to the community right now at this point? There is no risk to, to the community right now. We believe that we have the area contained. Um, the local school, which is located in Clay City, the Clay City High School and elementary and middle school, has been placed on lockdown. And uh, the Sheriff's Department here in Clay County is communicating with them. Once we believe the uh, scene is secure, we'll make contact with them and uh, they will uh, yep. be lifted. What was the warrant for? Was I do not have that information right now. I don't know what the warrant's for. Uh, the only thing I was told as I was coming up here to brief you that it was for uh, felony charges against the individual. Any idea of the age of the, of the suspect? Or? No, I do not. I, I do not have the age of the suspect at this time. Now, earlier today also, we did hear uh, what sounded like loud bangs in the air with smoke coming up. Could you confirm those were flashbangs on this report? Those are flashbangs that the uh, Terre Haute Police Department and the uh, ISP Police Department or Indiana State Police are using presently, uh, trying to lure the individual out. Um, we have robots up in there right now, and we're trying to get to the scene of a, an area where we believe that he's located and uh, trying to render it safe. And is just one person involved in the situation or is anybody else? Uh, Mara, from my understanding right now, there's just one individual that's involved in this situation.